Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Thursday already. We had a half a day of school yesterday, so that's why I didn't get to... Normally, I like to do a video right around Wednesday. I'm sorry. I'm at a real crossroads with my hair. Um, <laughs> for one thing, my color needs to be done. I'm doing that next week, and it's just, whew, it's just getting on my nerves, so that's why I mess with it too much. Anyway, I am going to do a video today about my glasses. And I wish that I could do a video on my whole doctor's appointment, and I will kind of, but I'm still not 100% with these contacts, and I don't know if I ever will be, but, um, so I'll start from the beginning. I went to a new eye doctor thinking that maybe they would be able to help me with the whole getting old. I, when I put my contacts in before, I could see far, but I couldn't see close up. When I take them out, I can see close up, but I can't see far away. And that's what, you know, the whole dilemma is, is trying to get a good balance between the two. So I had gone through the whole um, multifocal lens with my other doctor, and um, that's where the lens is kind of like um, in rings, and some rings are for far away, and then some rings are for close up. And your brain and your eyes kind of have to work on you know, getting used to it and being able to use both to see. So that didn't really work for me. So then my other doctor, my old doctor, ended up doing the, is it monofocal, where they did, um, they actually suggested that I use one contact um, in my right eye to see far away and then just use my left eye to see close up. And I just couldn't do it because it was just too much of a difference and it was messing up my, like, depth perception. I couldn't... Um, I just felt like I couldn't, I don't know, I was scared to drive and stuff. So then I ended up just putting a minus 50, I think, in my left eye. And then it was, I think, a 125 in my right eye. And that worked okay. But, like, when I was texting or, um, you know, trying to focus on, you know, a lipstick name or something like that, I noticed that my eyes would my vision would cross, or my, not my eyes, but you know what I mean, my focus would cross, and I would have to look away and kind of look again, and it was hard to text, it was hard to read text and Instagram and stuff like that, so I went to this new doctor and told him all of that, and he examined my eyes, and he told me that I was very bifocal, which means my eyes really, really want to work together, they don't want to work apart, and he had, you know, tested me in a bunch of different ways, and so he gave me a new type of multifocal lenses. He said where the rings aren't quite so, you know, one for distance, one for close up, one for distance, that they are, um, they're, they're kind of faded into each other a little bit more gradually. And when the first time I put them on, gosh, I, he told me, you know, look at your phone. It was just wonderful. I looked down at my phone and... I just could see so good until I left the office. And when I got in my car, I remember the first thing I thought was the stoplight looked kind of fuzzy. But I mean, of course I could still see it was red or green. So I thought, well, I really don't need to see the stoplight that good. And then I was going along in traffic and I realized I really couldn't see the like license plates in front of me. And I thought, well, <laughs> you know, I'm not a cop or anything. I don't need to see. You know, everybody has license plate numbers. That's no big of a deal. Not big of a deal. So, I kept on going and I had to go pick up Will at school. And, you know, when, when I pick up Will, and I'm usually in the front of the line, I see him come out and I can always, you know, pick him out coming out. And that day, I could pick out his jacket color, but I could not see his face. And it was blurry. And that freaked me out. So then I, d I just decided, you know, that plus when we were on the way home, I just was looking at, you know, trying to look on the side of the road and I couldn't read like signs and stuff like that. So I immediately went back the following week, which was last week, last Tuesday, and they kind of tweaked it a little bit. And so now I can definitely see far away. I can see Will's face. I can see the stoplight. I can see, you know, but things are still you know, they're still kind of fuzzy, but not unbearable. And I can see close up, but now, of course, I can't see close up as good as I could with those other ones. And he said it was, you know, he told me, they didn't give me a prescription. They told me to try these for a week and see how it goes. And so I don't know, you know, it's like 
you guys will have to help me too because I know a lot of you have these same issues and he said it was going to be just a balance finding that perfect or as perfect as I can get balance between seeing far away and seeing close up and I just don't know when to say when and you know you hate to keep on going in and bugging them and I don't know so I think I might try one more time and just go in and just tell him you know how I feel and um you know see if he thinks this is just as good as it's going to get and also i want to kind of give my brain and my eyes and everything kind of a chance to adjust because i know they're all different and i do really i do have a picture of the i took it to post on instagram the very first time that i went to the eye doctor and i never did but i will post that picture at the end of this to at least show you the kind the you know brand and the type of contacts that I'm using now because they feel so good in my eyes. They really do. They don't dry out. They're very, very smooth um, and thin, but not so thin that you can't get them in or out. And I believe they're monthly. Yeah, they are because he said you can just remember at the beginning of the month. And now I have the same strength in both eyes. So, and I'm not even sure what it is at this moment, but the picture I show you will be what it was in the beginning. So, that is my little story on that okay now so many of you and i had no idea that you guys would like my glasses that much but so many of you asked me about my glasses and oh, i'm sorry like i said they're coach and i could have sworn i got um anti-reflective and it doesn't look like i did and now they're looking all dirty i just i basically just wear these at the end of the night Usually when I wash my face, you know, I'll take out my contacts and then I will um, put these in. But these are the transitional lenses. The first time I've ever had the transitional lenses. So it has been very nice to, you know, sit in bed and be able to, which is weird now with my contacts in. But um, I love the way I can sit in bed and I can, here's my phone, I can read my phone or do my Instagram because I usually do my Instagram and right before I go to bed and then I can look up you know and be able to see whatever I'm watching usually the news it's either the news or the housewives the news or Bravo and um, so that has been really nice and they're very you can't see where the transition begins and ends and I tried on many 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 frames probably we went around that whole room to every brand there was, and there was some beautiful Chanel glasses, um, some real pretty blue ones, and um, but these were the ones that just fit my face. I was just determined I wanted some that were sturdy. I really kind of wanted black. I could have been swayed to blue, and if everything wasn't so expensive that day, I felt like getting two pair, but then I thought, you know, that's so ridiculous because I don't wear them, but if I were a person who wore glasses, you know, sometimes to the office or something, I would get different styles and colors. I think that would be so much fun. But anyway, so these are Coach, and the name on them is Amara, A-M-A-R-A. -A -A. And um, they were not the most expensive. Of course, the color is black, and it says 5002. See, this is a test. I can read this, but you know what? I can't read it right here. I can read it right here which i mean big deal to hold it back a little bit but it just makes me think of my mom you know when she used to have to hold everything back and she would have her glasses on and she would like look above her glasses and um you know i guess it just makes me think of getting older which i mean that's hey it's life isn't it and um anyway 5002 black and then it looks like 51 and then one of those little square things 14 135 and this is HC6038 Amara. That's probably the um, style number. H is in Harry, C is in Charles. Uh, let's see, 6038 Amara. And I really do like them. And John even, I thought, you know, John and the kids were gonna hate them because they're not, you know, they're, they're not into what's in, even though these type of glasses are in and um it, they're so different than my other ones but john loves them he says it's like the uh, naughty secretary <laughs> such a man isn't it and then brooke brooke doesn't like change she actually has i think she kind of has issues with that she does like i said remember when i cut my hair and she cried for like three days 
she doesn't like me to change. She likes things to stay the same. And um, so she's had to adjust to them. Every night I watch an episode of The Office with her. And um, so a lot of times I'll have to wear them in there and she'll say something. But anyway, so I really do like these. Of course, they came in the classic coach case. I don't even keep them in the case. I just keep them right in a little dish on the side of my bed. And this, I wanted to show you this, and you're going to laugh. And even Sheila said, when I send these to you, you're going to laugh. And she was, her and I were texting back and forth this past weekend trying to get my um, Lisa necklaces. This one, I've had a couple people ask me which one this is. This is the rose gold and clear, and I just love it. I have worn it nonstop, and I have slept in it. I have taken it off when I got in the shower um, just because I'm putting on that um, Jergens BB body when I get out. But if I don't take a shower that night, I just leave it right on and sleep on it. And I love necklaces like this that are stationary. But anyway, mine is the rose gold and the clear CZs. And I just love the rose gold. Her rose gold is so pretty. And I just think it looks real pretty on the skin. So we were talking about my orders and stuff. And she asked me, she said, you're not old enough to wear reading glasses, are you? And um, I texted her back. I said, I just got my first transitional lenses and I put one of those little grandma icons. And she wrote me back. She said that she had done a collaboration on some reading glasses. And I just got them yesterday and I thought it was perfect to show you these when I did this video. And these are, they come in all the different strengths I'll put down here where they start. I think they might start at one, you know, 1.00 and go all the way up. I'm not sure. But um, these are 150s that she sent to me. And they are the brown with purple. And they are the true reading glasses. But this is the kicker. Look at this. I hope you can see. <laughs> you can. You can see better than I thought you could. And she said they're lit, and she had sent me the picture. And so what these are good for, she said they are the best conversation starters. But I wrote her back. I said, what would those even be good for, like reading in bed? And she said, I love the purple. And that they're not so heavy cool. at all. They just have the little, right there, you'll see, is the little section with the, um, I guess, the battery or the bulb and everything in it. But um, she said what they're really good for is in a dark restaurant, reading the menu. And I can totally see that because even when we go to Carrabba's or any of those restaurants, um, we get a, a couple of different ones that are kind of dark like that. I can see how someone would have trouble reading the menu. And I have had trouble, gosh, before I got up these contacts, I think in my old, old multifocal lenses, I was having trouble even hardly seeing my food which I wouldn't wear these to, to eat, but anyway. So I told her I would show these to you in case any of you were interested, and I am going to add these to my website. I don't know if anybody is, but I just think they're really cool, and um, I know a lot of you, I had to do that one more time. <laughs> I know a lot of you do go out at night. I don't go out at night as much, but... And I was thinking also, like in a recital or a play or something where you're reading the little, what am I trying to say? Not the menu, but the program or something. They would be neat. And she's got all different colors. And um, so, anyway, I think those are neat. Okay, anything else today? I don't think so. I'm going to go run my errands and go get Will and go get a salad. And that's going to be it for the day. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. But I'll do a quick casual yes, outfit of the day. I have right on a t-shirt that I got last year at Gap. And it's just a Kelly Green. I, can't, I think it says San Francisco. And then I have on my Below the Belt Leopard Belt. And then my jeans are the Free People. Um... They are the skinny, the real thin ones. I think they were like $78, and I love them. They're just real comfortable and easy to wear. Uh, and then I um, just threw on these Rachel Roy pumps that I showed you last week that are nude, and I love these, but they are not as comfortable as the Stuart Weitzman. But they're good to have, you know, in addition to, and they're just a little bit more natural and a little darker and more casual, but if you were, debating between the two. I still prefer the Stuart Weitzman uh, Nouveau, but I do like having these too. I just wanted to tell you that. And then my bag is the Below the Belt um, 
Twiggy bag. And I wanted to just show you guys, I've had so many questions on how it wears. And so I just wanted to show it to you after I have used it for a while. And I love it. I get probably, no exaggeration, five compliments a day with this bag. I was walking in um, a store yesterday and a man complimented me on it. And I've had two women get um, my card at the post office for it. I just love it. And um, But I wanted to show you that nothing's rubbed off on it yet. I'm not saying that it won't. And maybe, you know, to me, I would probably just use this in the summer and I haven't been wearing a lot of dark jeans or black stuff as much. Um, so I might even get a black one just for us to see and try out just to see, you know, if it might be something, you know, that you guys, I don't know, it's harder to see just in those pictures. But um, I love it. So, and I, this has been the first bag in a while I've carried like that. Accessories, I've shown you guys the necklace. These are probably some of my favorite hoops and I just got some more of these in yesterday. Um, my nail polish is so pretty. This is from my friend Nadine. She sent this to me one time and it is Chanel Dragon. And it's one of my favorite reds. It's kind of just, it's very, very classic. It's just dark enough, but just bright enough. And um, these are my Sheila Fajal bangles. And I cannot remember, I remember I bought this at Tory Bell, but I cannot remember the designer. It's like a costume, one of those, um, not Rich Rocks, but a similar designer, like a, what am I trying to say? A celebrity type designer. And I think that's it. No rings or anything. I'm going to try to get out of here. And um, gosh, is there anything else I wanted to tell you? Um, I've got lots of stuff to share with you tomorrow. I tried several new products that I'm anxious to tell you about. Probably two or three new so products. So I will see you here tomorrow, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.